This is Joe with Joe's Astrophoto.com. Today we're going to be talking about fixing star halos in PixInsight and in Photoshop. Depending on your astrophotography gear that you use, you've probably seen images like this before. This usually occurs with the Oxygen 3 filter or the blue filter in LRGB, and it can produce some huge circles, halos around the very bright stars, and smaller halos around the mid to bright stars. Hopefully with today's technique I'm about to show you, you'll be able to correct these in your images. Here's an example of IC59 and Gamma Cassiopeia. This casts a huge circle right in the middle of your frame. Here's another one of the Horsehead Nebula, where Alnatok covers the Flame Nebula as well as the Horsehead Nebula. So let's get started. I usually perform these steps after I've cropped my images and um, done a background extraction. However, uh, I'm just going to open up the image and show you uh, the steps and then you can work it into your workflow uh, the way it works for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up pixel math because that's how we're going to get rid of this and we're going to use this equation. And I'm going to put this in the description below. You can copy and paste this into the pixel math expression and then go to symbols and here we're going to type in L and we're going to come to the left and we're going to get a reading and the reading here is about 2044 and I'm getting that number right here so when I put my cursor on the screen I'm looking down here and you'll see the number and uh, it looks more like 2 2032, that's what we're going to put in there and try it. And then the right side, this is a little trickier because we kind of, I kind of lose it here. But I want to say it's about 3496. And then the top looks to be about 2152 and now we're using the second number which is right here 2152 and the bottom and the bottoms basically all the way off the screen uh, 3512 okay and before we apply that we're going to make a clone of the image because what this pixel math is going to do is replace um, everything with the white circle based on the coordinates that we just put in here so let's apply it and basically what we've done is make a mask and then we're going to come to convolution convolution and we're going to set the standard deviation to 20. I think it's 2 by default. I just had 20 in there. And we're going to apply this. And what this does is it, it makes it a little fuzzy. So it's not a real sharp circle. And once we've got this, we'll just apply it to the image. And we're going to take off show mask. And we're going to open up our histogram transformation. We're going to lock it into this image and open the real time preview. And now, if you take the midtones and you slightly move them, you'll see that circle get real dark or real bright. We just need to feather it in until the circle disappears. I think my circle's a little too small. 
but you get the idea. Here's my image after I finished processing everything in Pixinsight. And now I wanted to show you how I can make this look a little bit better as well. Um, particularly right here. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. And you can see that um, there's still a halo around this. It's not quite the conventional halo, but it has more to do with the micro lensing um, from my camera. But we could fix this. I wanted to show you how I fix it. So I'll go to the lasso tool and I'm going to draw best I can. I'm not super good at these. Just uh, like that. It's kind of not really a circle, but it's close enough, at least for demonstration purposes. Uh, you could spend a lot of time doing these. Uh, just depends on how meticulous you want to get. So the next thing we're going to do is duplicate um, this layer. And then we're going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and the Channel Mixer. And then we're going to choose the Output Channel and make adjustments for each Output Channel. So we're going to just take the green slide it down in the blue and slide it down a little bit and then the red okay all right I'm gonna try that and let's deselect that lasso and then see what a, so there's before and there's after. And let's zoom out. And then look, so before and after. So it's a subtle difference and I could have done better, but this is just for demonstration purposes on how to get something like that. I mean, I could fix this one here. I'm not sure if I could fix this because I think it's going to interfere with the nebula, but I might try later. Let's get this one here and this one here. This I kind of like up here, and, and this one I kind of like those. Um, but this I'd like to fix, and maybe even some of these. But there you have it. That's, that's how I fix those. I hope this helped. If you liked it, give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.